from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello, Aiden Hell. Welcome to another edition of Braves Beat. I'm Dakota Condor. And I'm Emma Beck. So, Emma, what did you do for Halloween? Mainly just sat around and ate candy. What about you? I scared children. Sounds like a fun time. Let's get into the news. It's that time of year again. Put away those razors, because it's no shave November. Each week, we're going to check in the halls with students and teachers on their continuous hairy face. This year, we are going to get competitive. At the end of the month, the student and teacher with the fullest face will win a special prize. Taiwan Student Exchange invites you to attend an informational session about Taiwan and the trip to New Taipei City later next year. The informational session will be held in the MP room on Monday, November 6th from 7 to 8.30. Contact these emails for more information. We hope everyone had a fantastic Halloween week. Everyone looked great on Tuesday. Our reporter Emily went out in the halls to get a closer look. What are you guys dressed up as? Uh, we came we as hippies, hippies today, so... <laughs> I'm here with an Ohio State football player, a cheetah, a leopard, and a shark. What inspired you guys to be what you are? I love the jungle. I was raised by a family of sharks when I was young. Uh, Jim Leahy, RIP. The British are coming, the British are coming. What are you dressed up as? I'm Darth Vader today. <laughs> I'm Batman. What are you guys for Halloween? I'm Velma from Scooby-Doo. I'm Superman. Yeah, so like, instead of the car guy that goes like crazy, I'm a T-Rex. Rawr! What are you guys dressed as? I'm doing a futuristic theme into the world. Uh, I'm a fallen angel. It's fun. Okay, so I don't really know who else to find. I mean, I'm Ben Bayless. The last few weeks on Bracebee, we've been recognizing each of our six pillars one by one, focusing on their true meaning. It takes a lot in a person to show just one pillar, but how about all six? Julie Lambert, thank you for being our Super Brave. We would also like to congratulate all of the other Super Brave nominees here at our school for the month of October. A job well done by all these students for representing the six pillars. Keep up the good work, Braves. Are you in need of service hours? FCA is taking a trip down to Tender Mercies on November 11th to serve food to those in need. You'll get two to three service hours and get an experience like no other. If you can't make it on the 11th, don't worry, FCA goes down once a month. With any questions, contact Mr. Witt, Emily Anderson, or Sammy Orr. It's that time of the week again. Our pillar of the week, leadership. Cody. Oh, right. What does it mean to take leadership? There isn't just one definition. It means to guide your peers in the right direction while being the role model they need to look up to. What kind of leader are you? I'll show you what kind of leader I am. Follow me. Come on, guys. Follow me. Okay. Be a leader for your peers, for your school, and most importantly, for yourself. We gotta own it, Braves. It's hard being the star. In a thrilling match that went all the way to penalty kicks, the IH girls soccer team won the district championship game against Waynesville in the state tournament. After demolishing Nor Norwood and Roger Bacon, the district final went scoreless for 120 minutes due to some spectacular defense from both teams. The Lady Braves were one goal from losing in penalty kicks, but stellar work by goalkeeper Kate Mars in a streak of goals propelled the Indian Hill team to victory. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. That's all we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like our Braves Beat Facebook page, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Braves, if you love Tweet of the Week, we need tweets! We hope you have a great weekend, Braves. And as always, stay in classy in hell. And the 45th president 
of the United States. I won Ohio. I won a big league. I won every single electoral vote, if you would count for the 65 million people who voted legally. Believe me. Okay.